When it comes to brain, size matters. Really, it does. There's a part of the brain that's called hippocampus. This part of the brain is particularly important for learning and memory. And many studies have shown that it can shrink by your lifestyle choices and medical conditions you may have. And the smaller hippocampus will be, the more likely it will be that you will get Alzheimer's disease. And if your hippocampus is big and strong, you will not get Alzheimer's disease, guaranteed. So what are the six things you could do to increase your risk of shrinkage in the brain, especially in the hippocampus? Number one, if you sleep fewer than six hours a night, that's really bad for your brain. And the longer time you have insomnia, the smaller your hippocampus will get. Number two, if you snore at night, have a big belly and feel tired during the day, you may have sleep apnea that's not treated. And the longer period of time that you have sleep apnea, the more your brain shrinks. Because when you have sleep apnea, you don't get enough oxygen to your brain, and your brain is constantly deprived of oxygen. And that's bad for the brain. Number three, if you're stressed and anxious all the time, it's okay to get stressed out once in a while when there's a deadline, but if you're angry and stressed out all the time, that's really bad for your brain. Why? Because when you're stressed, the levels of cortisol, which is stress hormone, is high, and cortisol is particularly toxic to hippocampus. And so you really want to avoid that as much as possible. Number four, if you have a poor diet, if you eat junk food all the time, I'm sorry to say you're contributing to brain shrinkage. The studies have shown that higher levels of trans fats, the stuff you find in junk food, is associated with smaller size of brain. The same thing with obesity. The bigger the belly, the smaller the hippocampus. So food's really important. Number five is if you have untreated depression. If you have depression and it's treated, you're okay. But if you have had depression for years, your hippocampus will shrink more and more. Finally, you may have vitamin deficiency, which is a major risk factor for brain shrinkage, especially B12. The lower levels of B12, the higher likelihood that your brain will shrink a lot. So can you reverse those things? Absolutely. Think of your brain as a garden and do your part to have a beautiful garden. What are the six things you could do to build a exciting and a green and healthy garden? Number one, you need to sleep seven to eight hours a night. Why? Because when you don't sleep enough and when you don't get enough deep sleep, levels of amyloid, which is a marker for Alzheimer's disease, goes higher and higher. So if you sleep seven to eight hours, your brain cleans and cleans all the amyloid out of your brain. So seven to eight hours a night as much as possible. Number two, you need to exercise three hours a week. Whether you do it one, one and a half hours twice a week or you know, one hour three times a week, three hours a week is really the minimum that you need to have a healthy brain. Why? Because when you exercise, you grow new neurons. Literally, new brain cells grow when you exercise. Nothing else does that. Number three, no junk food. No junk food whatsoever. Stick to fruits and vegetables and eat a diet that Europeans do, the Mediterranean diet. Number four, meditate. Just sit down, close your eyes, and repeat a mantra. And if you find that difficult, do a breathing exercise. When you breathe in with a count of seven, hold for a count of seven, and breathe out for a count of seven. Just 10 minutes, five days a week will do wonders for you. And this has been shown scientifically. Number five, every day learn something new. Have a sense of curiosity. And better yet, do memory exercises. There are lots of apps you could use to memorize things. And the more you practice memorization, the better your memory will be and the bigger will be your hippocampus. So using your brain is good for your brain. Use it or lose it. Finally, be kind to yourself and to others. Just let it go. Don't take things too seriously. As my daughter would say, it's not that deep. So in, in summary, there are six things you could do to shrink your brain and there are six things you could do to grow your brain. Choose which one you do on a daily basis. Good luck.